Hi everyone, my name is Stacy Dyke and I am the Kids Eye Director here at Westside Community Church. I am so excited you're here with us today as we get ready to count down to Christmas. And today you're here for our family experience where you gather with your family and you engage with God's Word. If you happen to be with us here in person on a Sunday, you may have picked up our Countdown to Christmas bag. However, if you had not made it here, you can always reach out to me for those resources, or you can go to our website and download each of the items that we're gonna be using today uh, during our family experience. Um, so if you have a moment, just go ahead and grab the, those items and your Bible and join me back here in just a few minutes. Dear God, you know I love Christmas. Always have, always will. But let's face it, every year it gets too busy. And it can be a lot for us to handle. Too many places you have to go, too many things you have to do, and there's always something unexpected that happens. Plus, there's all the gifts you have to find, and wrap, and deliver, it gets kind of crazy. I mean, it's all good stuff, but it can just wear you down. I think Mom was feeling that. She just wanted to make this a really special Christmas. It's been a tough year. Anyway, I was reading about how you invented the whole Christmas thing. The baby, your son, born in a barn with really nothing. I mean, my friend told me that the wise men didn't even bring the presents until later. It all seemed, well, simple. A lot more simple than we make it. That's when I had the idea. I thought she would never make it home. Mom looked really surprised. God, thanks for Christmas. Please help me and Mom to remember that it's all about you and how much you love us and that it's okay not having everything perfect. Help me to show love to other people that same way. Merry Christmas, God. Love, Ellie.
Today we're going to begin with our Christmas countdown. So I hope that you were able to grab your bag, and if not, you can just follow along with us here in our resources. But Christmas is a season filled with anticipation and the wondrous work that God did by sending His Son Jesus to be the Savior of the world. And so today we're going to begin in the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and the angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be the great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever, and his kingdom will never end. And Mary asked, How will this be, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One who will be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month, for no word from God will ever fail. The angel Gabriel appeared to Mary to announce that she would be Jesus' mother. This must have come quite a surprise to Mary. After all, Mary wasn't married yet, and she had a different plan for her life. Gabriel reminded her that nothing is impossible with God. She could have been overwhelmed by this startling news, but she chose to respond with a song of joy. Nothing takes God by surprise. We can trust that God has an ultimate plan for our lives. Discover the joy that God that comes from believing in Jesus and God's plan for us. So let's read Mary's song here in Luke 46 to 47. This is Mary's response to the angel. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. So Mary decided to trust God and believe the impossible of what he could do. Um, there's a couple questions to go along with our devotion today. Who are we planning to see this Christmas? And how do you feel when your plans don't happen like you want? And how can we remember to have joy even when our plans change? We're going to put those up on a slide for you so you can take some time with as your family to gather and discuss those questions. And especially in this season, things are looking different for Christmas this year. Things were looking different all year long. And we have to trust God in those moments. And we have to trust Him for the impossible and believe that He wants the best for us. So enjoy this time with your family. Take time to, uh, to sit together and, and um, pray um, today. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and light our hope and our joy candles. So last week was our first week, it was hope, and today is our second week and joy. So we have our wreath here, and we're going to place our candle on each of those parts. And then if you have an adult with you, you can light the candle. So we're going to light the candle. Okay, and now we're going to pray. So if you both fold your hands and bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our Savior. We can see how Mary trusted your plan, and you filled her heart with joy. Thank you for reminding us that you have a good plan for our lives, too. Help us to find joy in you always, because you are good. We love you, and we pray these things in your name. And all God's children said, Amen. Thank you for joining us for our family experience. Be sure to access all of these resources on our Facebook and on our website, and we hope that you have a great week.